While space travel has never been easy or straightforward, space has always held a certain allure. Scientists have been eager to discover more about the universe and our place in it. In recent years, astronomers have made incredible strides, with new discoveries being made all the time. As time passes, we seem to be getting more answers, as well as even more questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three fascinating astronomical discoveries. Astronomers solve the mystery of Jupiter's missing rings. Astronomers have been wondering for a long time why Jupiter does not have rings like its neighbor Saturn. While Saturn is a giant planet, the only world that surpasses its size in our solar system is Jupiter. Jupiter is also closer to Earth than Saturn is, which would make the view of its rings far more significant than that of Saturn. Saturn's rings, which are primarily made of ice, may have come from comets that are also made of ice. While Jupiter does have rings, they are not as substantial as the rings surrounding Saturn, which makes them difficult to see with the stargazing equipment we currently have. Scientists were not even aware of their existence until the Voyager spacecraft went past Jupiter and proved the rings existed. The rings are so inconsequential that even in recent pictures taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, the rings are only faintly visible. Despite the long-standing mystery, astronomers have finally figured out why Jupiter does not have rings that compare to those of Saturn. Its moons prevent them from forming. Scientists performed a computer simulation of Jupiter's orbits and four of its moons, which are Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. The simulation demonstrated that the Galilean moons would destroy any large rings that could possibly form. According to Professor Stephen Kane, of the University of California, massive moons prevent massive planets from having substantial rings. Due to this understanding, the researchers determined that Jupiter probably never had substantial rings. With the recent success of figuring out why Jupiter's rings are so faint, many astronomers want to move on to pinpointing the reason for Uranus's faint rings. Some believe that Uranus's rings are the remnants of a collision between the planet and another celestial body. According to Professor Kane, there is good reason for the fascination with these massive planets' rings. When we look at the rings of giant planets, it's evident something catastrophic happened to put that material there. In many ways, these scientists have been our detectives for scientific truth, looking for clues and going through every scenario before they finally crack the case. They will surely continue to do so. James Webb Space Telescope Detects Water on Distant Planet Thousands of light years away, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has detected signs of water, haze and clouds in the atmosphere of a gas giant planet named WASP-96b. The planet, sitting almost 1200 light years away from Earth in the Phoenix constellation, is one of only roughly 5000 confirmed exoplanets in the Milky Way galaxy. The finding is rather incredible, as it demonstrates Webb's ability to observe and analyze atmospheres at a distance. WASP-96b is a giant exoplanet, with a diameter of 1.2 times greater than Jupiter and half its mass. It is puffier and hotter, with a temperature greater than 538 degrees Celsius, than any planet that orbits our Sun. It also orbits close to its own Sun-like star completing a circuit once every three and a half days. The planet is a great source for atmospheric observations due to its large size, puffy atmosphere, relatively short orbital timeline, and lack of contaminating light. Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph measured light from around the planet for more than six hours. The observations of the light curve showed that the brightness of individual wavelengths of infrared light changed from 0.6 to 2.8 microns. While the light curve confirmed the observable properties of the planet like its existence, size and orbit, the transmission spectrum reveals previously unknown details about the atmosphere of the planet, like the signature of water, evidence of clouds and haze. Additionally, scientists are able to measure the amount of key gases in the atmosphere of the planet using its absorption pattern or heights and locations of peaks on the graph, 
because molecules and atoms have distinctive patterns of the wavelengths that they observe. WASP-96b's spectrum has a wide range of wavelengths from visible red light and a part of the spectrum that has not been captured by other telescopes. That inaccessible portion of the spectrum is sensitive to water as well as other molecules like carbon dioxide, methane and oxygen. While the observational ability of the James Webb Space Telescope is impressive, the most exciting aspect of this development is the discovery of water on the planet. It's no doubt a giant step to finding other potentially habitable planets besides Earth. NASA's mission to asteroid 16 Psyche is delayed. With all the incredible progress in space travel that we have seen in recent years, there are bound to be setbacks from time to time. NASA announced that its planned Psyche asteroid mission would not make its launch attempt by its 2022 target. The delay is a result of the late delivery of the spacecraft's testing equipment and flight software. The team will need more time to ensure the software functions properly during the flight, and they will not be able to complete the necessary testing by the end of the remaining launch period of the year, which ends on October 11th. The Psyche was selected in 2017 to be part of NASA's Discovery Program, a series of competitive, low-cost missions. NASA will be reviewing the future of both the program and the project. According to Thomas Zerbuchen, the Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Admission Directorate, NASA takes the cost and schedule commitments of its projects and programs very seriously. We are exploring options for the mission in the context of the Discovery Program, and a decision on the path forward will be made in the coming months. There are multiple implications of the delay, and the assessment team will be made up of experts from multiple industries, including government, academia and industry. They will then determine the estimated costs of the delay as well as the options available for the future of the project, the Discovery Program and the Planetary Science Portfolio. While unfortunate, the delay is imperative as the flight software and guidance navigation controls the spacecraft's orientation during space travel and points the antenna toward Earth to send and receive data. Additionally, the software system provides the spacecraft's solar electric propulsion with the system trajectory information. A compatibility issue with the software's testbed simulators was discovered in May, which changed the target launch date from August 1st to no sooner than December 20th. While the problem has been corrected, there is not enough time to complete the entire checkout of the software by the end of the launch year. The original 2022 launch target would have allowed the spacecraft to arrive at the Psyche asteroid in 2026. Due to the relative orbital positions of both Psyche and Earth, even if the spacecraft were to be launched as soon as 2023, it would not arrive at the asteroid until 2029. Despite these consequences, as JPL director Laurie Leshin puts it, the decision to delay the launch wasn't easy, but it's the right one. Space travel must be precise. While there are disappointments from time to time, we are only at the beginning of what we can expect to find as space travel evolves. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.